Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network. Fake Extinction of All Humanity, I, Who Rebuilt Civilization by Hand, was live-streamed Parallel World, Advanced Technology, and Historical Gaps. In 2388, the world's top 10 conglomerates teamed up to create a live program called The Strongest Nation. Randomly select contestants from five ethnic groups and place them in a pre-disguised apocalyptic scene to create the illusion of human extinction. I want to use this to find the most vibrant nation on earth. The Chinese representative's draw was unfavorable, and they chose a primitive deserted island, causing Jiang Kuei to fall into hell and start the game. But just as his foreign friends were waiting for him to embarrass himself, Jiang Kuei, who was bound to the primitive survival assistance system, made a stunning splash. Drill wood for fire, build kills, burn pottery, plant farmland, smelt metals, and domesticate asterisk asterisk. Netizens from all over the world. If the program doesn't end, Lord Kuei will have to establish his own civilization. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 1. Live Program The Strongest Nation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dear audience friends, welcome to the post-apocalyptic survival reality show, The Strongest Nation, jointly created by the top 10 financial groups. If one day humanity goes extinct and you are the only one left on Earth, how will you respond? In order to seek answers, in the next year, challengers from China, Dongying, Ingjiang, Baixiong, and Goryeo will take on survival challenges in the apocalyptic background of the deliberately created, fake extinction of humanity, by the top 10 financial groups. This program is fully supervised by the Guinness World Records notary public and meticulously planned by top experts from all walks of life. No one will ever cheat, and every randomly selected challenger is also unaware of this. In the global live broadcast room of The Strongest Nation, host Gu Wanqing finished speaking. The big screen behind me. One is divided into five. At this point, athletes from five countries are ready. But right now they are in a coma and haven't woken up yet next up. The female host continued to introduce. In order to ensure authenticity, as early as a month before the start of the program, the top 10 conglomerates broadcasted fake news about Comet 354 colliding with Earth on well-known television stations around the world, and invited relevant experts to create a false impression that the end of the world could come at any time. After selecting the challenger, the relevant staff arranged the scene in advance, hired professional actors, and unconsciously introduced them into the corresponding world background. Human extinction, wandering towards the end of the world, how can one survive alone? Who is the most vibrant nation on earth? Let's wait and see. The human extinction scenario in which the five challengers are located is determined by the drawing of lots by the delegations of the five ethnic groups. Some are cities. Some are wilderness. There are also islands among them, Eagle Sauce Country chose an island city that was affected by a comet and the collective disappearance of humans. The most abundant resources, no worries about food and clothing. The country of Japan has chosen the town of Doomsday after the comet hit Earth. The resources are barely passable. Although the White Bear and Goryeo cannot compare to the first two ethnic groups. But everything is also good. Among the five ethnic groups. The most difficult start is undoubtedly the challenger of China, Jiang Kuei. The first scene on the screen is challenger Jiang Kuei from China, 22 years old, a recent graduate of the history department of Jiangnan University. It can be seen that the background of his fake apocalypse is a deserted island deep in the ocean. At this moment, Jiang Kuei is sleeping on the beach. I only have one pair of shorts on my body. Compared to other ethnic groups in the city. This opening is really a bit sad. After the announcement of the draw results, many foreign audiences and media unanimously believe that Jiang Kuei may not be able to hold on for even a day. No accidents. The first one to be eliminated must be him. 
The female host Gu Wanqing has finished introducing the basic information of the five contestants. Huaxia Time 5 o'clock in the afternoon The program starts on time. At this moment, in the global live broadcast room of The Strongest Nation. Because the promotion is in place, coupled with the program itself being i.catching enough. Less than a minute. Over a hundred sub-channels have gathered billions of people. On the dense barrage of bullets. People from various countries are supporting their own national challengers. Our eagle sauce is the most resilient nation in the world. Raoul, hold on to it until the end. Nanny. Don't joke, the samurai spirit of our Dongying tribe is invincible. For the sake of His Majesty the Emperor, Lord Ikeda, O Naga is Maesai. Garbage. This earth belongs to our Goryeo. Park Yong Jun don't embarrass our Han ethnic group. Kagu, don't be afraid. Although we started in hell, our strong motherland will always be your strong support. Just do your best. The purpose of the top 10 financial groups founding this program. On the surface, it's to find the most vibrant nation on earth. But in reality, everyone knows the significance of the program's existence. In fact, it is to undermine the self-confidence of the Chinese nation. Stop the rise of the Eastern Dragon. In recent years, several major countries frequently resort to various means, both economically and culturally. Now we have directly launched a survival live program called Human False Extinction. When they learned that the challenger of the Chinese nation, Jiang Kuei, had started the hell, many foreigners posted on social media, making various mockery and insinuations. Previously, a renowned human behaviorist from Eagle Sauce Country once posted on his personal Twitter. Compared to other countries, the survival scenario of the Chinese challenger is very difficult, and it is almost impossible to find suitable survival equipment. There is no trace of civilization on the entire island. I bet he will definitely not survive the first night. Now. The program has officially started broadcasting. Such sounds are not uncommon. Chinese people, stop showing off. Before Jiang Kuei wakes up, I advise you to quickly apply to the program team to withdraw from the competition. Yeah. I'm sure this Huaxia person will cry out like a coward after learning about the extinction of humanity. Poor Chinese nation. It's ridiculous a group of ignorant Chinese pigs, not only inventing Chinese characters, but also often claiming to have a history of 5,000 years. Today, I want to see how Chinese people with a history of 5,000 years kneel down and cry bitterly. Haha <laughs> at the same time. Chinese people living in global live streaming rooms, when faced with ridicule, are also resolute. The first strong counterattack has begun. I really don't want to criticize people. But today is an exception. Go back and take a look, white piggy. Sun Wukong is in your marble brain heavenly palace. Dongying, Goryeo. You are descendants of the Chinese people, and we are your biological fathers. You licked the wrong thing, garbage from Goryeo, don't be arrogant. Brothers, don't have the same view as me as a barbarian. I feel ashamed of my ancestors when I scold him. Ha, <laughs> P.S. New book for newcomers, seeking collection, seeking flowers, seeking evaluation tickets. 2. Primitive Survival Assistance System. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At the same time, in the Huaxia Live broadcast room of The Strongest Nation. In less than five minutes since the program started, it has already accumulated over 600 million viewers. Although Jiang Kuei's start was not favored by many foreign media, his compatriots did not give up on themselves. Kagu, we need to keep going it doesn't matter if you fail, you must showcase the charm of our Chinese nation, yes, isn't the purpose of this program being to indirectly attack us. There's no way, our first level team didn't play well, and the draw is too unfavorable. Hey, you're so angry. But we still need to work hard, please, don't embarrass us. 
In addition to ordinary viewers, many celebrities and official media also rushed to the live broadcast room to cheer for Jiang Kue. Western region actor Gu Xiaoyao. Wang Kue, I believe you, don't give up easily. Famous fighter Zhao Li, yes, even if you only persist for a day, everyone will support you. Famous anchor De Sima. For us, this is not a fair game, but it's not a big problem. Anchor Silly Girl. It feels like there's nothing left, brother, don't smear our faces. Former gymnast Hao Ning. That's right, we must compete to the level. Huaxia Youth Daily. The outcome of the competition is not the most important, but we must demonstrate the integrity of our nation. Jiang Kue, you are the best. Come on. A full screen barrage. Crazy drift by. At this point. Famous Chinese female host Lin Xiao and three experts have also sat in the broadcasting room of the Huaxia Branch Channel. Okay, dear audience friends, the contestants have now entered the designated scene, and the program will start soon. Today, we are honored to invite Professor Zhou Ping, an expert in humanities and history research at Yendu University, Professor Su Zhenning, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and a Nobel laureate in physics, as well as Professor Liang Ying from Jinling Medical University. So, as netizens have said, such an opening is indeed a bit disadvantageous for our players. Professor Zhou, can you share your opinion? Zhou Ping nodded. This program is actually designed to verify whether humans can withstand the dual test of disaster and survival in a state of loneliness and survival. Jiang Kui's survival scene is an island. Compared to other ethnic athletes, the start is very difficult, with a completely unfamiliar environment and insufficient food supply. Without strong psychological qualities and survival instincts, the result is not optimistic. After Zhou Ping finished speaking, the opinions of the other two experts were also similar. Although they have expectations for Jiang Kuei's performance. But we also need to respect the facts. The beginning of hell, coupled with Jiang Kuei being just an ordinary college student. Compared to other countries' special forces, athletes, and professional physicians, Jiang Kuei's hope of surviving to the end is really slim. Soon. The time has arrived at 5.30. When billions of viewers were eagerly anticipating it, the white special forces soldier Lowell from Eagle Sauce Country's Seagull Assault Team woke up first from his hotel room and slowly opened his eyes. He is truly a soldier of our Eagle Sauce Country oh my goodness. Our Lowell was actually the first to wake up it's time to showcase your true abilities, Raoul. Don't embarrass our country, Lowell. Prove to the world that our Eagle Sauce people are the most vibrant nation. Subsequently, athletes from various countries also woke up one after another. On the beach. Jiang Kuei also opened his hazy eyes and slowly supported his body. After a while. Just barely adapted to the scorching sunshine of tropical islands. Brothers, Jiang Kuei is awake, come on, Kagu. I'll go, Kuei Gu. This damn beauty is so handsome. Pink plus one. Wake up, wake up. Judging from the status, it should be okay. Chongya, Jiang Kue, the 1.4 billion people in China cheer you on looking around at the unfamiliar environment. Jiang Kiza stood up with a struggle. Effortlessly organizing my memories a few days ago. He, who was planning his graduation trip, was lucky enough to win the seven-day Pacific Rim tour on a luxury cruise ship from an international travel agency. As a result, the journey had just begun when a tsunami occurred. The surging waves. Causing the complete destruction of the cruise ship. During this period, people kept shouting, Comet is here, and, Comet is here. At the critical moment of life. Jiang Kuei also saw a huge halo rushing towards the ground, causing an unprecedented explosion. At that moment, he understood. It turns out that the news about comet colliding with Earth during this period is true. The Earth may really be finished. But what he didn't know was that everything he experienced was actually special effects created by the top 10 financial groups at a huge cost. 
The tourists on the cruise ship are also actors hired by the production team throughout the entire process, only he himself was kept in the dark. Jiang Kuei was very desperate. I am also very helpless. Because he never dreamed that he had just crossed over and encountered the end of the world. That's right, Jiang Kuei is not actually an indigenous person of this world. He is a traveler. I have only been in this world for over a month. My current identity is a graduate of the history department at Jiangnan University. This world is no different from Earth. The only difference is that the time here extends several hundred years beyond the previous life. Technology is very advanced. With the changing times, there has been a huge gap in people's understanding of human evolution and primitive society. The Stone Age, Bronze Age, everyone just knows what this is all about. But many details have long been forgotten. I learned about this difference. Jiang Kuei originally planned to write a paper on the evolution of human survival in primitive societies after his graduation trip. Attempting to subvert the academic community. But the accident arrived first. Looking back at the small island behind me. Jiang Kuei's heart became even more desperate. Because dying together with the end of the world is not the most terrifying thing. The most terrifying thing is to survive alone when all humanity is extinct. According to the news, this comet impact is highly likely to completely annihilate humanity. I don't know if there are any survivors in the world. I touched my inch and sharp-edged face. Jiang Kuei's heart was in turmoil. I roughly check my body. There are some small wounds. But it's not a big problem. That's good news, right? As for the rest, it's all bad news Jiang Kuei, who has watched countless disaster films, knows that what she needs to do now is to live first. How easy is it to survive? Ding while struggling, an electronic prompt interrupted Jiang Kuei's thoughts. Detected host in wilderness, Primitive Survival Assistance System, officially awakened. System binding in progress, please wait. System binding successful system. Jiang Kuei's eyes lit up and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. As a traveler, the system is a familiar thing to him. This is an existence that has helped countless people reach the pinnacle of their lives. So he quickly communicated with the system with his mind. System. Tell me what functions you have. Returning to the host, this system is called the Primitive Survival Assistance System. As long as the host stays in the wild, they can obtain a certain number of survival points. The longer the time, the more survival points. Survival points are the only currency in the system that can be used to exchange various primitive technologies and survival skills easy. Rough. Jiang Kuei immediately understood. To put it bluntly. This is a hanging exchange system. As long as you hang up in the wilderness, you can obtain survival points and exchange them for various rewards. Lying trough. Amazing. Ding. The beginner gift pack has been distributed to the backpack. Do you want to open it? Novice gift pack. Open. Jiang Kuei said decisively. P.S. New book seeking data. 3. Does he seem to want to start a fire? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining, wood drilling fire technique, and, basic knowledge of wild survival. Dot. Congratulations to the host. The wild game has been idle for 5 minutes, survival point plus 1. Next second. Countless wilderness survival knowledge, transformed into a stream of consciousness, flooded into my mind. Botany, zoology, geography, medicine, and so on amazing with such an incredible system. Not to mention surviving, it's easy to rebuild a civilization, right? Escape from death. It is also bound to an auxiliary system. Looking at the distant ocean, Jiang Kuei chuckled. Hart said, this is my fate that should not be terminated. Even before Jiang Kuei landed on the island, 
the production team had installed thousands of cameras and countless invisible small follow dot up drones in various corners of the island. There are almost no blind spots. So, the scene of Jiang Kue standing on the beach laughing foolishly was naturally captured. Kagu, is this laughing? Did you know that humans have become extinct and gone crazy, no way. To be honest, in this situation, a person's heart is very fragile and easily collapses. Hey, I feel like we might really have no hope this time. At the same time, many foreign viewers, after supporting their own contestants, also came to the Huaxia live broadcast room one after another. The purpose is to see Jiang Kue embarrass himself. When they saw Jiang Kue laughing, some sprayers quickly seized the opportunity. Ha <laughs> ha. Has this Chinese person been scared out of their wits, nanny? I wasn't scared to cry, but I was scared crazy. Ha <laughs> ha. Poor Chinese, have you lost your sanity? Soga. Are you afraid before you even start? Did you see that? You Chinese people can also play tricks. Just woke up and looked like this. When it gets dark later, I'm afraid I'll be scared and have a stream of feces and urine. Huashia pig, it's already dark on the heavenly horse. Are you ready to surrender? Faced with ridicule from foreign audiences, domestic audiences have once again responded. But no matter what. Jiang Kui's situation is too difficult. Whether we can survive the first night is an unknown number. By comparison, the challenger of Eagle Sauce Country, Raoul, has found the city's arsenal and armed himself. Before leaving, he shot down the star-spangled banner that was erected outside. His expression is very arrogant. Later, he searched for a convenience store and went to a wealthy area to find a large villa. He violently broke through the door and had a wild meal, ready to stay. Is it time to start the robbery now this is eagle sauce? Its nature is completely exposed, did you see that? White piggy, this is your special forces, you don't even pay attention to your own national flag. Ha <laughs> ha. Chinese people, don't be weird. This is the game of the brave, there is no order here how about, do Chinese people envy or not in the live broadcast room, there is endless debate and chatter. Jiang Kue also began his journey of survival. Based on one's own situation. Jiang Kue first searched around the place where he landed. I want to see if there are any available equipment. But unfortunately. In the end, nothing was achieved. At a moment of despair, the sunset on the sea level gradually drifts away. It is estimated that it will be dark in another hour. With a systematic and basic knowledge of wilderness survival. Jiang Kue knew that the first thing he needed to do at the moment was to quickly start a bonfire. Spend a long dark night. Thinking about it, he immediately set off and searched on the beach. In no time. We collected a lot of dry shrub branches and some dead leaves of wild grass. Jiang Kue's actions. Being seen by everyone. Kagu, what is this doing? He seems to want to start a fire how can we start a fire without even a lighter, Kagu, aren't you really scared out of your wits? Everyone, stop arguing and see what he's up to. Collect materials well. Jiang Kue took some dry grass and leaves and kneaded them into a fire starter. Set aside for later use. Then, a piece of wood with a relatively flat surface was found to serve as a drilling board. Then, he picked up a sharp and angular reef at will. A small pit was drilled at the edge of the drilling board. And found a dry shrub leaf and placed it under the small pit. Leaves can replace ash dishes. The purpose is to better collect the debris from friction. Who? Everything is ready. Jiang Kue let out a long breath. Pick up a relatively straight wooden stick and use it as a drill pipe and place one end on the drilling hole of the wooden board. Fix the drilling board with your right foot. Hold the drill stick with both hands. Quickly rub it up. Shwa 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 shwa. For a while. The sound of a wooden stick rubbing against a drill board. 
filled the entire live broadcast room. Did the audience feel a bit confused when they saw this? What is the situation, sleeping slot? What is Kij doing? You can't mess with me. I'm so anxious, is this rubbing a spiral pill? Brothers, judging from Kaji's posture, he probably wants to use this broken wooden stick to start a fire, right? Stop teasing me. Can this thing start a fire? Are you insulting my intelligence? Ha <laughs> ha. This Chinese person is really crazy. He's actually using a wooden stick to start a fire. What a pipe dream. Laughing to death. This Chinese person is really funny. Do you think you can do magic? P.S. For flowers, for evaluation tickets. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 4. Success. The Mysterious Power from the Ancient East. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It's obvious. Almost no one in the audience believed it. Jiang Kuei can start a fire with just this small wooden stick. This world is different from the past. Due to the existence of historical gaps, many primitive technologies have become blind spots for people's knowledge. Even a professional history professor knows very little about this. The Australian guy who was once a big fire in his past life lived primitive life, and here it is definitely an existence that subverts people's cognition. At this moment, in the live broadcast room of Huaxiao. Hostess Lin Xiao and three experts. I am also confused about it. Audience friends, we can now see that Jiang Kuei seems to want to start a fire. Academician Su, what do you think of this? Su Zhenning, with white temples, is an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Nobel laureate in physics. Has great influence internationally. Yes, but I think it's unlikely. There are three conditions for the generation of flames. Combustibles and oxidants. It's not a problem at the moment, but to generate fire, combustibles need to reach the ignition point. Currently, it seems that he doesn't have these conditions. Next up. Historian Zhou Ping also agrees. That's right, unless using external forces such as lightning, sunlight, etc. To put it simply, Jiang Kuei's current situation is almost equivalent to an unarmed primitive person. A few years ago, I mentioned in a paper a conjecture about primitive humans obtaining fire seeds, which I called the lightning conjecture. The general idea is that primitive humans discovered through observation that lightning hitting trees can ignite a fire, and thus learn to preserve the fire seeds and use bonfires. This should be the only way for primitive humans to obtain fire seeds. It is a bit difficult to understand how to start a fire with just a wooden stick. While the female host and experts were discussing, Jiang Kuei was still spinning the stick rapidly. Over time. Drill holes on the drilling board. It's starting to turn black. The burnt smell of sawdust. Spread it out. On the lower leaves, enough ashes have also accumulated. Continuously emitting hot air. Seeing this, Jiang Kuei dared not neglect and continued to rub the wooden stick. There is no hint of relaxation. Because at this point, it is the key to the success of drilling wood to start a fire. You must be fully focused. Continue to increase friction while doing so. Try to control the floating range of your upper body as much as possible while avoiding dripping sweat from wetting the ashes. Shua 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 shua. Soon. About another minute passed. The ashes on the leaves are already half a finger high. It should be almost there. Speaking in his heart, Jiang Kuei quickly put down the drill pipe and picked up the pre-prepared igniter. Then, carefully pull out the blades from under the drill board, pour the remaining ashes into the igniter, and gently wrap them up. Who? Hold the igniter. Jiang Kuei knelt on one knee, gently blowing air to help ignite. Just a moment. Twice. Three times. 
Quickly, the repeated white smoke grew thicker and thicker. Suddenly. A flash of fire. The grass ball in hand was instantly ignited. A bright flame bloomed in Jiang Kuei's palm. Sleeping slot. He really started a fire, crouching slot, could Gunyo Ba. How could it be? Is this magic, right how did he do it? He actually lit it using only one wooden stick and drilling twice, it ignited a fire in the studio. Su Zhenning, who had also witnessed this scene, was also taken aback. My face is filled with unbelievable words. But soon, he reacted and exclaimed with great excitement. I see. This young man. What a genius. He cleverly applied the principle of friction generating heat. Converting kinetic energy into thermal energy, causing an object to reach its ignition point and start a fire. Amazing, how did he think of it? It's unbelievable. Upon hearing Su Zhenning's words, the other two professors suddenly realized. Friction generates heat. This is just simple physics knowledge. Anyone who has studied middle school physics knows it. However, this is not the point. The key is that Jiang Kuei can actually make good use of this common sense and put it into practice. Seeing this scene, the foreign audience who had been mocking Jiang Kuei before were all stunned. He. How did he start a fire? Ba Jie, this guy must have cheated. It's impossible. God. This is not scientific, oh my god, does this Chinese person know magic? Seeing the reactions of foreigners, many Chinese audiences took advantage of the situation. This is the wisdom of five thousand years, have you learned it? Mysterious powers from the ancient East, learn more. Kue Gu. No, Kue Yi. He's so handsome little devils, have you raised your posture, unbelievable. What a damn face for Chinese people. Good job, young man. P.S. New book seek support, flowers, and evaluation votes. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 5. Get on the hot search. Question from foreign friends. This. You are listening at novelfull.audio. At this moment. In the global live broadcast room. Three experts sitting in the studio. I was also amazed by Jiang Kuei's actions. When the flames appeared from Jiang Kuei's hand. Williams, a tenured professor at Harvard University's School of History, was immediately stunned. After a long time. Surprised, he said. It's a bit interesting, this Chinese person is so surprising. He actually thought of using the principle of friction to generate heat to light a campfire. A nation with a civilization of 5,000 years, truly intelligent. Friends, don't underestimate this move as it could potentially overturn our established understanding of human evolution. Perhaps tens of thousands of years ago, our ancestors used this method to make fires even when they were unarmed. Philip Ron, a physics professor at Columbia University and a leading figure in modern physics, couldn't help but agree. William is right. This young man is really spiritual. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have believed it. He is highly likely to have highly restored the primitive method of obtaining fire without external force. It seems that the lightning fire hypothesis we have always believed in is not rigorous. Friction generates heat, which is amazing. Among the five challengers. Jiang Kuei's start was the most disadvantageous. But it is precisely this disadvantage. Let countless people witness the wisdom of this young Chinese person. Even the so-called expert professors were amazed. Of course. They are not unaware of the principle of frictional heat generation. But not everyone can apply simple principles flexibly. Soon. Jiang Kuei's strategy of drilling wood to start a fire has sparked countless discussions and immediately made it onto the trending list. The strongest nation launches.
Chinese challenger Jiang Kuei's desperate self-rescue, drilling wood to start fire, stuns everyone, experts exclaim. This is a genius. Below the hot search, comments from netizens are overwhelming. Excitement. Over words. Kuei Yi Nyo Ba, breaking sound, Kuei Yi. Kuei Yi the three foreign professors in the global live broadcast room are all shocked. They have such long faces I am truly a top student in the history department, knowledge is power this guy is really smart, he feels like his IQ is not low. Using simple physics knowledge, he started a fire the pride of Chinese people. Blow me up, Lord Kuei although the start was unfavorable. But Jiang Kuei's outstanding performance has made the entire Chinese community excited. Because this time, they see hope. With this intelligence and action, what if we start in hell? However, in addition to the support of our compatriots, there are still many foreign friends who scoff at Jiang Kuei's actions in global live streaming. Although this operation is stunning, only fire is not enough to survive here. Water source. Food. You don't even have a place to live now, just fire and fur are useless. Poor Chinese, recognize reality, yes, don't be complacent. In this barren land, only fire can't last long. Watching a fire, not eating or drinking. I don't know what these yellow-skinned pigs are getting excited about, our Lowell has collected enough food, and even if he doesn't leave the front door or walk through the second door, he can still persist for two to three months. Let's take a look at your Jiang Kuei again. What does he have? Yeah, what's the use of only fire? The ideas of foreign audiences are very simple. It's also very realistic. Even if Jiang Kuei is clever and knows how to draw inferences. There is no food or water, no weapons or tools. He can't hold on for long either. The deserted island where Jiang Kuei is located. Near the Nemo Point located deep in the Pacific Ocean. It is the most remote location on the Earth's surface from land. 2,688 kilometers away from the nearest landmass. Solitary from land, ship routes, and ocean currents. The human activities and other biological traces in the sea area it is located in are rare. The deserted island is covered in dense forests. Having a perfect ecosystem. Who knows if there will be large beasts inside. In this situation, even if Jiang Kuei started a fire and had no weapons, firearms, or ammunition, it would still be a meal for the beasts sooner or later. At 5.55 p.m. On a deserted island near Nemo Point in the Pacific Ocean. The sunset on the sea surface. It's getting weaker and weaker. Sitting by the campfire. Jiang Kuei was eating the coconuts he picked up from the beach. While calculating my next survival plan in my heart. At present, he doesn't know if there are any survivors in the world. So, the most important thing is not to think about how to find rescue. But rather, it is to use the system to survive on this small island in a conservative manner. As of now. In less than half an hour, Jiang Kuei has accumulated 50 survival points through the system. The survival point generation rule of the system is that the longer the waiting time, the more survival points will be generated each time. System, what can 50 survival points be redeemed for? The system will open the redemption list for Jiang Kuei to view. Original stone axe making technique, exchange requires 100 survival points. The Inuit's four-pronged spear making technique requires 200 survival points to exchange. The cultivation technique of cassava requires 1,000 survival points for exchange, one attribute point, redemption requires 5,000 survival points. Reservoir construction drawings, exchange requires 10,000 survival points. Invisible threat, passive skill, can increase the host's aura, scare away beasts, exchange requires 15,000 survival points. The goods are dazzling. But with 50 survival points, I can't buy anything. However, Jiang Kuei is not in a hurry either. Anyway, I won't go out now either. 
As long as the idle time is long enough, it will be sooner or later to learn these skills. The redemption interface has been closed. Jiang Kue was drinking coconut juice. Wake up the system panel. After reviewing it. Name. Jiang Kue, age. 22 years old, power. 5.1, agile. 4.9 endurance. 5.2 outbreak. 4.8, note. The average value for ordinary adults is 5 points, while the human limit is 10 points, original technology. Drilling wood for fire tool. None. Survival point. 50 civilization progress. Achievements from the Stone Age. 1-100, unfinished, unlocking achievements, mysterious rewards, because I exercise regularly. Jiang Kuei's physical fitness is basically at the standard level. And the system also clearly states that as long as you exercise, all attributes will increase. It is not necessary to increase stamina by exchanging attribute points. Redemption is just faster. After roughly understanding the system, Jiang Kuei threw away the coconut shell in his hand and added some firewood to the campfire. Then, he stood up and prepared to build a shelter for himself before sunset. Among the three elements of survival. The priority of shelters is higher than that of water sources. A complete shelter. Not only can it provide shelter. More importantly, it will maintain your core body temperature. So, no matter when and where, shelter should be a top priority for survivors. After having this plan, Jiang Kuei did not delay either. At the first moment, I collected many branches and palm leaves in the bushes near the beach. Seeing this, the audience in the live broadcast room is very confused. I don't know what Jiang Kuei is doing again. If you don't understand, why is Lord Kuei doing this? With my intelligence, I can't even guess Kuei Ye's next action no matter what you do, Kuei Yi Nyo Ba is done in addition to the Chinese audience, many foreigners are also constantly adding fuel and vinegar. It's getting dark soon, little cuties of China. Don't be scared and cry, your challengers I want to see how big a wave this Chinese person can make, sorry, I'm almost laughing to death. Come and take a look at this Chinese person. He has turned into a scavenger and found a bunch of broken leaves and branches. Can this person survive? That's it. Our Lowell is still comfortable, living in the big villa with AK in hand, looking domineering. Don't hit them anymore, Jiang Kuei doesn't even have a place to live yet, P.S. New book seeking support. Seeking flowers, seeking evaluation votes. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Is anyone watching? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Live streaming plus primitive survival, has anyone watched it? If anyone is watching, please provide more support. The first day data is very important. As long as there are 30 comments every day, the new book issue is even more basic at 6 every day. Additionally, every 1000 flowers will receive one change. Add one update for every 500 evaluation votes. Add one update for every reward. Not capped. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 6. Original Sloping House. He built himself a house. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Soon. Night falls. By the campfire. Amidst the voices of global audiences discussing and cursing. Jiang Kuei has already started building his own shelter. Because armed with basic primitive survival knowledge. Building a simple triangular sloping house is not difficult for Jiang Kuei. The so dot called Triangle Hill House is one of the most beloved wilderness shelters of primitive people. Simple. Convenient. Easy to make. 
A triangular sloping house, as the name suggests, is a tent-shaped shelter formed by building a triangular sloping roof with three branches. It's very simple. But its practicality is not much worse than a double-roofed sloping house. Very suitable for emergency situations. It is definitely Jiang Kuei's most cost-effective choice right now. After making up my mind, Jiang Kuei immediately began the operation. Under the gaze of billions of viewers, he first selected three shrub branches with similar length and thickness. Arranged them side by side. Then, tear off a small piece of bark from a branch and use it as a rope. Tie the tops of the three branches together. Continuing, he stood up. Unfold three branches and stand on the beach. At this stage, the general framework of the shelter is basically completed. Kuei-yi is really smart. He knows how to use tree bark as a rope this is something I didn't expect, so, the question is, what is the significance of what he did? Are you working on a barbecue grill, Divine TM Barbecue Grill? Brother, can your brain not be so big? The original shelter of the triangle. There is nothing unusual on earth. As long as you watch some videos of primitive survival, ordinary people also know a little bit. But in a parallel world where primitive culture is extremely scarce. Due to the lack of history, human understanding of our ancestors' clothing, food, housing, and transportation is almost blank. So at this moment, many people don't know what Jiang Kuei is doing. I thought he was making a barbecue grill build a good framework. Jiang Kuei picked up a large stack of emerald green palm leaves. One by one, they were laid on the roof. As the roof gradually improved, the audience in the live broadcast room finally realized. Sleeping trough, this guy was actually building a house for himself. Sleeping slot. Originally, Lord Kuei was building a house. Amazing. It only took a few inconspicuous branches and leaves to build a small shed. Chang, Lord Kuei, it's amazing. There's a place to sleep in three, five, and two places. That's amazing. This person is simply too smart. The audience who has been kept in the dark. I never dreamed of it. With just a few branches, a temporary small shelter was created by Jiang Kuei. Seeing this, many foreign audiences couldn't help but be amazed. It has to be said. This Chinese person has something did he build himself a simple house damn it. I suspect this Chinese person must have cheated ignorance. This is also called a house. Don't insult my intelligence, Chinese people, isn't this the rural tiled house of our Han ethnic group? The shape is the same, you Chinese have infringed upon it. I can go to Nima. Goryo, are you addicted to our cultural knockoff renowned anchor de Sima? Thank you for the plane you're still saying goodbye to. Famous actor Ghazali. Kuei-yi is so amazing. He built a small house for himself, surrounded by a bonfire, and looks so warm at this moment. The studio in Huaxia. When he saw this scene, Zhou Ping, wearing severe myopia glasses, was once again shocked. He is the most influential expert in primitive historical research in present-day China. Many speculations have been made about primitive humans. All along, Zhou Ping believed that the only dwelling place for primitive people was most likely a cave. He once wrote a paper based on this argument and provided many examples to prove his point, which was published in the journal Nature and caused a sensation in the academic community even appearing in history textbooks of many countries. But today, Jiang Kuei's shelter has made him doubt his own teachings. Perhaps primitive humans did not only live in caves. They are likely like Jiang Kuei. I learned to build simple houses shortly after walking upright. After a moment of contemplation, Zhou Ping sighed and said, This young man is really amazing. Not only has super high intelligence, but also extraordinary imagination. He built a primitive small nest with just a few branches. Su Zhenning. It's getting more and more interesting. 
What a creative young person. Medical Professor Liang Ying. Being able to cleverly utilize existing materials to create one's own survival needs in a disadvantageous start, no matter how others may think, I am truly amazed by him personally. The female host Lin Xiao also smiled and said, Thank you for the comments from several experts. They are indeed impressive. I believe that many viewers, like me, are becoming more and more excited about Jiang Kuei's next journey of survival. P.S. For flowers, for evaluation tickets. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 7. The points table is out, charcoal toothpaste. Seeking freshness. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At the beginning of the program. Because Jiang Kuei's hell started. Many Chinese people are worried. I'm afraid this young man will be abused to the point of being completely exhausted. But now it seems. This young man not only did not disappoint them, but also brought them many surprises. Drill wood to start a fire. Build a shack. Everything goes smoothly and orderly. Even the three experts in the global live broadcast room were shocked by Jiang Kuei's divine operation. Let the whole world see the imagination and creativity of a young Chinese person. Being in the depths of the ocean. Jiang Kuei was unaware that he was in his distant hometown of Huaxia. My own name is constantly making headlines on various news headlines and new media platforms. Teng News on the first day of the broadcast of The Strongest Nation, the Chinese young man performed astonishingly. Fox Talk Entertainment This young man is too strong. Drill wood to start a fire, build a shelter, please click on the link below to watch more details. Tomorrow's headline I can't imagine it. This is definitely a divine operation that subverts human cognition. At the same time, after building the shelter, Jiang Kuei spread the remaining palm leaves onto the ground of the shelter. Lying on one end, ready to rest. Due to the time difference. Also to better observe the contestants. The Strongest Nation is a 24.hour uninterrupted live broadcast. Currently, the live broadcast has been going on for a full five hours. The first comprehensive evaluation by the international jury has also been released. The international jury is composed of nearly a hundred experts from different countries. Expert group members, covering a wide range of talents from various fields. Psychologists, historians, behaviorists, professional soldiers, and so on. Every once in a while. The international jury will conduct a comprehensive evaluation and scoring of the challengers from the five ethnic groups in all aspects. Soon, the official Twitter account of The Strongest Nation announced the ranking of the points table. Originally, everyone thought that Jiang Kuei would undoubtedly be at the end. But the result surprised many people. At the beginning of hell, Jiang Kuei defeated Park Yongjun from Goryeo, Kurosuke Ikeda from Toei Province, and Andre from Shirakawa Province in one fell swoop, ranking second with a huge advantage of 90.5 points. Only three points behind the top-ranked Lowell. You should know. The opening of these two can definitely be considered as a heaven and an earth. But with his own divine operation, Jiang Kue minimized this gap. As for Dongying, Baixiong, and Goryeo, they have long been left far behind by Jiang Kuei. As soon as the points table is released, countless Chinese people are extremely excited, and major news media are promoting it recklessly. And this result has also made many Dongying and Goryeo people extremely dissatisfied. Dongying audience. Yaga. Our Ikeda, why is it ranked behind China? Dongying audience. Ikeda Jun hid in a house, owned firearms and ammunition, and also ate some food. In terms of equipment, he is not inferior to Jiang Kuei. Why? Goryeo audience. Axi, our Park Yong Jun is actually the last one. Goryeo audience. 
Oh my goodness! Are all the judges from China? Goryeo, your contestant is also in the wilderness. His starting equipment is even better than Jiang Kuei's, with a kettle and a gun. But now, he is either sleepwalking or crying in pain all the way. Is there any problem with him being at the bottom? I watched that Dongying person's live broadcast, it was so tedious. It's like a ghost entering the village, huh, I want to laugh as I watch the two dog-legged countries get angry and frustrated. Dongying audience. Don't be complacent, Chinese people. The live broadcast has just begun, and once our contestants get used to it, they will definitely do better than you. Don't forget, your contestants haven't had any food yet. Goryeo audience. Yeah. What can he do with a fire and a house? He can't hold on without food. Let's see. That's right. Live streaming until now. Jiang Kuei only drank some coconut juice. Although there are many coconut trees on the island, relying solely on these coconut juices for a living is definitely not enough. Many Chinese audiences are also aware of this issue. After all, being hungry is not a solution. Soon. One night passed. The next day, at five o'clock in the morning, Jiang Kuei crawled out of the shelter. Brothers, Lord Kuei is awake it looks like you're in good condition Kij, hurry up and find a way to fill your stomach, yes, yes, food is now the top priority. Let's stabilize first, isn't there any coconut left? Eating only coconuts is not enough, he still needs enough protein, fat, and plenty of carbohydrates. Believe me, I am a professional fitness coach, hurry up and find something to eat. How could there be food in this place in this world, due to the development of technology, forest coverage is decreasing. Many people have never entered the primitive jungle in their lifetime. As a result, the wilderness of previous great fires for survival has disappeared here. Even if they wanted to break their scalp, these viewers still couldn't imagine how to find something to eat on this small island except for those few coconut trees this way, after getting up. Jiang Kuei picked up the firewood and put out the burning campfire. Then, regardless of the situation, I picked up a piece of charcoal. Crushed it with a reef and chewed it in my mouth. Sleeping slot, what is Lord Kuei doing? He's eating charcoal, Kuei Yi is so hungry that he even eats charcoal. Dongying audience. Ha <laughs> ha. As expected, I can't find the food, can I? Goryeo audience. No matter how clever and skillful you are, what would you do? If you haven't eaten anything, why don't you just sit and wait for death? Eagle sauce audience. Hee <laughs> hee, I've said it before. Without food, he can't hold on at all. What if he can make a fire out of wood? Jiang Kuei's action immediately stunned everyone. Everyone thought this guy was going hungry. Otherwise, I would never have eaten such a thing. But in reality, Jiang Kuei was just chewing and never swallowed the charcoal from beginning to end. Quickly, after eating for a while, he extended another finger and put it in his mouth. Continuously rubbing my teeth back and forth in the global live broadcast room. Upon seeing this scene, Monica, a medical professor from Mayo Medical Center in Eagle Sauce Country, changed her expression and it took her a long time to exclaim. He seems to be brushing his teeth. Once this statement is made, the entire live broadcast exploded instantly. Brushing teeth. What does it mean? Subsequently, Monica continued to explain. This Chinese person should be using charcoal as toothpaste. Normal adults, as long as they don't brush their teeth for three days, their teeth will break. Especially in this situation, if they want to persist for a long time, they must always keep their teeth clean. Charcoal has a strong adsorption effect and can help clean teeth. The toothpaste we usually use also contains activated carbon. It has to be said that Jiang Kuei is really smart. He even thought of using charcoal to protect his teeth. Lying trough. P.S. The data is so dismal, kneeling down to seek a wave of support. 
If you think my brother's writing is okay, let's have some flowers and tickets. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 8. Unknowingly fierce. What kind of divine operation is this? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Sleeping slot. Mr. Kue, this wave is really too detailed, it turns out that we are ignorant and have become arrogant. This wave is on the fifth layer, and Lord Kue is in the atmosphere. Charcoal brushing teeth, first time I heard of it, Nyo Ba. Upon hearing Monica say so, barrage of bullets surged out of the live broadcast room. Everyone suddenly realized. Charcoal brushing teeth Jiang Kue. You really have it. The billions of viewers present never dreamed that this guy was brushing his teeth after eating charcoal. The most crucial thing is that this operation has actually received recognition from experts. Because if it's really like what Monica said. This matter is indeed very serious. After all, tooth loss is not a small matter. Once it happens, it is irreversible. Even if we find more food then, it will be useless. I have to say, this young man is really too detailed. What a comprehensive consideration. Compared to the audience, Jiang Kue naturally knows this clearly. To survive here in the long run. We need to consider all aspects. Otherwise, the trouble will definitely come one wave after another, causing a chain reaction. Soon. Brushed your teeth. Jiang Kue took a coconut. Put it on the reef and smash it open. Rinsed my mouth with some coconut juice. Cleaned up the remaining charcoal in the mouth. Next up. He immediately activated the system and checked it. As expected, after a night of accumulation. At this point, he already has 1000 survival points. As the system says. As long as you stay outside for a longer period of time, your survival point will grow exponentially. If we keep going like this, we probably won't be able to make tens of thousands of survival points in a few days. Don't be too satisfied. After a brief rest, Jiang Kue began to follow his own plan. At present. The three key elements of survival. He has almost solved it. Although we haven't found any fresh water to drink yet. But after all, there are still coconuts. Persisting for a period of time is not a problem. So the water is not urgent for now. The most important thing now is to find food. Because he hasn't eaten anything for a day and a night. On a deserted island, the most convenient and efficient place to obtain food is the sea. There is no one. So, after careful consideration. Jiang Kue commands the system to open the redemption list. Because there aren't many survival points yet. Finally, he only exchanged one Inuit for pronged spear making technique and one primitive stone knife making technique. The Inuit style four pronged spear is a very practical and easy to make hunting tool. All you need are rattan and wooden sticks. Especially easy to get started with. The success rate is extremely high. Even people without hunting experience can quickly master the usage. However, before making the fish spear, Jiang Kue needs to first make a suitable stone knife. No cutting tools. Nothing goes smoothly. Thinking about it, Jiang Kue immediately searched for it on the reef on the beach. And soon discovered the target. A long strip of flint. Flint is mainly composed of cryptocrystalline quartz. It is a common siliceous rock. Dense and hard. Mostly gray or black. After crushing, it has a shell-like fracture. Due to its hard texture. After being broken, it will produce sharp fractures, which is why it was favored by primitive people in the Stone Age. The vast majority of stone tools are made by striking with flint. Pick up flint fragments. Jiang Kue was like a treasure, smiled slightly, and casually found a relatively flat reef on the beach, then crazily ground it. 
schwa 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 schwa. For a while. The sound of grinding knives echoed through the live broadcast room. But the audience is very puzzled by Jiang Kuei's actions. Unknowingly fierce. Online solution, where is Kuei Yi singing? It's just a stone. Look at how Lord Kuei's expression looks like he's picked up a treasure. I don't understand. However, I always feel that Lord Kuei is using a big move to hold back his anger. 666, Eagle Sauce Audience. Why are you so happy to pick up a broken stone? Dong Ying Audience. I want to see, what kind of tricks are you going to do again? Goryeo Audience. Huaxia, you have successfully shattered my values. You are not looking for food, but playing with stones. Amazing. The shape of flint flakes was originally like a knife. The cutting edge is also very obvious. Slightly polish. It can become very sharp. Shua 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 shua. Quickly, after grinding for a while, Jiang Kuei tried it with his fingertips. Well, it's not bad. I think it's almost there. He casually found a vine in the bushes by the beach. Wrapped around the handle of the knife. Next, in order to test sharpness, Jiang Kuei aimed at a shrub branch and started cutting with his hands. Whoosh! When looking again. The shrub branches have already split in half. Next second. The audience suddenly realized. So this guy made a knife for himself. Sleeping trough. Is this a stone so sharp? Amazing, this guy actually made a knife out of a stone. Bull break, what kind of divine operation is this? I feel like Mr. Kuei is so smart. Mom asked me why I'm kneeling to watch the live broadcast. I remember from the history textbook, it seems that during the Stone Age, humans could use stones to make various tools. So that's how it was done I made it, I was showcased again people in this world only have a rough idea of the ancient history of humanity. The so dot called stone knife is naturally unprecedented. If it weren't for seeing this scene, they wouldn't have thought of it no matter what. At this moment. The studio of Huaxiao. Several experts sitting here were also shocked by Jiang Kuei's stone knife. After a while, the female host asked. Professor Zhou, what do you think of this? Zhou Ping shook his head, even though he had extensive knowledge, he was still very puzzled about it. He must have chosen some special type of stone. Because ordinary stones, even after careful polishing, would not be so sharp. Jiang Kuei is very powerful, I don't know if you have noticed him. He knows how to seek benefits and avoid harm, and also knows how to maximize the limited resources. In him, I seem to see signs of primitive humans gradually moving toward civilization, which is very magical. Wake up the dreamer with just one sentence. That's right. From the beginning of the program until now, the feeling that Jiang Kuei has brought to people is just like this. Everything he displays is like an unarmed primitive person, gradually moving toward civilization. It's simply not too magical. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 9. Four-pointed spear, I bet he can't succeed. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Just find a stone and you can make a sharp knife. This guy is really too smart. This is the most authentic feeling in the hearts of many viewers who have watched live broadcasts. However. In the eyes of foreign audiences. Although Jiang Kuei made stone knives, the issue of food has not yet been resolved. If we continue like this, it will be a matter of time before we are eliminated. Eagle Sauce Audience It's a bit interesting, this guy actually made a knife out of stone. But don't forget, he's still hungry. Dong Ying Audience Yeah. What if we have tools? We can't eat them. Goryeo Audience Huh, Chinese people, stop struggling. I advise you to surrender quickly. 
you can't compete with us. Go home and wash yourself off. Two people from the dog legs country, they are really ignorant. This means that if you want to do a good job, you must first sharpen your tools. Brothers upstairs, with their intelligence, they can't understand this sentence. Pay attention to the impact. That really hurts, man. We have received professional training and generally won't laugh unless we can't help it soon. With a handy cutting tool, Jian Kuei worked tirelessly. I am currently searching for materials to make fish spears in the bushes the island where Jiang Kue is located. Located deep in the ocean. Because it has not been polluted by civilization, the vegetation coverage is very high. As long as you carefully search for the corresponding materials, they are extremely easy to obtain. As expected. Not much longer. Jiang Kue found several very tall hibiscus trees. The branches of hibiscus. Great resilience. It's perfect for making harpoons. Thinking about it, he started cutting with his hands. With only a dozen or so cuts, two branches of just the right thickness were cut off. Brothers, it seems that Lord Kuei is going to make equipment again is this chopping firewood, I'll do it, this knife is a bit sharp. Watching Kuei Ye's live broadcast always gives me a feeling of playing construction games, no more nonsense, come on, Master Kuei. We must persevere. Defeat those foreigners. Choose the right materials. Jiang Kuei took one of the branches. Cut into four sections. Then add the two sides of each paragraph. Sharpen the spearhead with a stone knife. Continuing. He took vines and tied four spearheads to another branch. In this way. A simple four-pronged spear was presented to the audience. The weight of the harpoon is appropriate. The spearhead is also sharp enough. But in reality, the reason why Inuit-style four-pronged spears are easier to hit targets than ordinary spears. It's not because it's so sharp. But rather because when stabbing prey, the four fish spears will expand due to elasticity, firmly clamping the fish inside. Make the entire hunting process more flexible. More precise. If it were a regular single-headed fish spear, it would have to be killed in one blow. But the four-pronged spear wouldn't have this problem. At this moment, looking at the fish spear in Jiang Kuei's hand, the audience in the live broadcast room frowned one after another. After thinking for a while, I didn't understand why this thing is used. Dot. Did Lord Kuei make a fire stick? It doesn't look like it's a fork or something like that, I'll make it, Runtu is the same style. Haha <laughs> I feel like Lord Kuei is going to make big moves again over here. When you speak and I speak to the audience. Jiang Kuei has already walked back to the beach. Jumped onto a huge reef. Holding a harpoon in hand, constantly searching for prey on the sea surface. The seawater is clear and bottomless. The waves shimmered. Under the sunshine, the blue shines brightly. You can clearly see the swimming fish in the water. See here. The audience, who has been puzzled for a long time, finally understands. So this guy is going to fish with this fork. Sleeping slot. Sleeping slot. No way, no way. Does he want to use this thing to kill the fish? Good idea. But can this work? I also think it's unlikely. The fish are too flexible on the other side. The foreign audience who constantly squats in the live broadcast room can't bear it anymore. They all mocked Jiang Kuei. Eagle Sauce Audience. Ha <laughs> ha. You're laughing to death. This Chinese person should be starving and hallucinating. With such a broken thing, you want to catch a fish. Dong Ying Audience. Found four inside. Do you still think? Chinese people. Today, I'll leave my words here. If he can catch a fish, I'll eat my computer on the spot. Goryo audience. It's hilarious. A broken wooden stick wants to catch a fish. In your ancient Chinese saying, what is this called? Oh, by the way, 
the one who wishes to take the bait. This guy probably wants the fish to jump onto his fork on its own. Fantastic is this too outrageous, it can be seen that this Chinese person is probably crazy about wanting to eat fish. Not bad. At the same time. The studio in the global live broadcast room. The three invited experts couldn't help but laugh when they saw this scene. Oh, my God. I'm laughing and my stomach hurts. Harvard professor Williams, hiding his face, explained. This Chinese person has always left a good impression on me before, drilling wood to start a fire, building a shed, polishing stone knives, all of which are very stunning. But this time, his actions are really hard to understand, even a bit funny. Leaving aside the rest, just looking at his tools, you'll know how outrageous this matter is. A few wooden sticks tied together, wanting to catch a fish, I bought them. Upon hearing this, Philip Ron also expressed his viewpoint. I really can't convince myself, nor can I find any reason to accept his bold fishing method. Everyone, in front of the global audience, how about we make a bet? If he catches a fish with this fire stick, I am willing to donate all my income from participating in the program to the World Charity Foundation. At this moment, the usually silent medical expert Monica also suggested with great interest. Ron, this bet will make you look insincere. Upon hearing her say so, Ron nodded nonchalantly. Okay, then, if he can succeed, I'll donate all my savings and leave no penny in my account. Amazing. Huh, Professor Ron, do you want to play so big? Experts, when you're joking, can you pay attention to the feelings of the Chinese audience? That's right, the Chinese people are still watching. Professor Ron has said so, then I can rest assured I don't know how Chinese people will react when they hear this news, third watch, seek data. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th.